Hey guys, this will be a super quick and dirty method on how to go through and profit from the black line trading post on Guild Wars. So the first thing you're going to do is go to GW2BLTC. Uh, I can have this link down in the description. What this is, is a website that goes through and tracks all of Guild Wars's up and down rises for prices in the trading post. And we can use that to find profitable items. So what we're going to do is once we're on here, on your only GW2BLTC, you're just going to want to click on trading post right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to options. We're going to go to type and then you can sort by whatever you'd like. You can actually go down each one of these to actually find something. I'm just going to teach you how to find it real quick. We're going to go to add a filter. We're going to sort by profit. After we do that, we're going to click the filter. Uh, let's go and do profit again since it didn't like us. Um, oh no, that's not the right filter. I think we're already on profit. So yeah, there we go. We're on profit. So we do right here. You can pick the gold amount. You don't want to go too high because then the problem with going too high is, is you're not going to have enough sales on the item because you want to go through and get more sales because you don't want to hold on to an item too long. Because if you hold on to an item too long, you're going to actually sit in the trading post and other people are going to go through and cut you off, which is going to mean you're not going to get that sale. And you want to optimize to get as many sales as possible. So now we've got 1200 right here. So you can put whatever number you'd like. And then we're going to go up to 3000 right here. So we're in 1.2 to 3 gold profit. You can sort this to whatever you want. But we're just going to go through and sort the page like this. You can see here to where it automatically sorted. Then you're going to want to go through and go to the sold option. And then we're going to click that to see how many are selling. So right here, it's automatically pulling up some armor, like all these Viper gear, Harrier gear, Celestial gear, and whatnot that are selling for 80 uh, every single month. And then 35 of them, you can actually go through and put an order in, and then 80 of them are actually selling. It's one of the two. Now we go through onto the Viper's Draconic Legs, and you can see how many of them are actually selling. I do recommend you do this. Uh, you want to click this gear right here, and then you're going to group by per day. Click to update, and then you can see actually per day how many are sold and how many are purchased right here. So I did pop this over to the page over here on the help. So the bot is the buy orders that were filled. So this is if somebody were to go through and actually you're going through and trying to purchase it at a lower price. And this is how many were actually sold at that higher price. So over here, this means that nine of them right here were bought, which means nine of them for the buy orders were fulfilled. And then 33 of them actually sold, which we do have days that vary on here. But since this is per week, this is actually quite a good item. You can actually go over here to three months to see if it actually holds its currency to where you can go through and actually price it. I always try to price it on the lower end. See, we have 15.08. I would probably price it closer to 14.95 or something like that because you don't want to go through and get too stuck down on the trading post because if you do, then everybody else is going to undercut you. This is going to happen anyway, so try not to go through and purchase items in large quantity. If you do that, you're going to sell. You're going to have way too many of them, and then you're never going to sell because too many people are going to undercut you. All right, that's that for now. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put down the video, and please like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Other than that, see you in the next video.